Hey G.I. Joe fans, Joe Motion Videos 82 here. Um, a while ago, one of my viewers asked me to do a top 10 list. And I had promised him I would. Uh, it took me a while to get this together because I really wanted to be thorough with this. Uh, there are so many great action figures in the toy line that... Frankly, it was very difficult for me to pick an all-time favorite, or even just a top 10. Uh, so here it is, from just from what I have in my collection. So, starting off with number one. Well, no. I'll save that for the end. Number 10 would be Destro. 1983 Destro version 1. He has a great color scheme. Uh, he was widely used throughout G.I. Joe media. Uh, he was I really think the brains behind the Cobra organization. So number 10. Number nine. Wow. It would be Dr. Mindbender. He is a great action figure. Uh, I use him a lot in in my videos um, and, and my uh, stop-motion videos the reason why he is so far down on the list I mean he has great accessories which I do have um, I really like the cape but pardon me the cape that he came with uh, there are two variants of that I'll get into that when I review him it's the fact that he's shirtless, that's what puts him down at number nine. Number eight on my list. Wow, it's it's getting hard. It is getting hard. Number eight would have to be the nineteen eighty three Cobra Commander. Version 1.5. It is a great action figure. Don't get me wrong. That's why he's in the top 10 list. But he... He didn't come with very many accessories. The uniform is superb. But there are so many other action figures out there that have a lot going for them. So that's why he got number 8. Number seven would have to be Hooded Cobra Commander, the 1984 Mail Away. Again, he has a lot going for him, but it's his lack of accessories that put him down so low. Okay, number six. Who is it? Number six would have to be the Techno Viper. He has a lot going for him as well. I mean, the color scheme on him is fantastic. He comes with so many accessories. Whoa. And he's also top heavy with his accessories on. <laughs> um... It's the, the overuse of purple that Hasbro did that brought him down to number six. Number five. 
the televiper they these guys are in my opinion i i mentioned this in my my review they're the, the un, unsung heroes of cobra i mean these guys they don't necessarily have a weapon to fight with they're the communications officers uh but he he is just a, a cool figure i go for the underdog and i noticed i noted this before in the review that his sleeves are rolled up which is really uncommon or not very common in the cobra line Number five would be the Cobra Eel. I know he is in the top ten list of a lot of collectors. Uh, the top ten list for a lot of collectors. And it just it goes without saying he is just awesome. The accessories on this are fantastic. Uh, it's the hose that um, tends to break easily. That's why he is number five on my list. Number four, not really Cobra, but he is a bad guy. Monkey Wrench. The 1986 line is my favorite G.I. Joe toy line. Just for some reason that it, 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 I find it to be simply awesome. They, re, they released some great figures that year. They released Zartan, or Xandar and Zarana. They, they released the best version of Roadblock that year. I mean, they in introduced us to a new communications guy, a new medic, a new chopper pilot. I mean, they revamped the series. And Monkey Wrench is my favorite Dreadnought. I mean, I love the, the red vest on him. He has the whole 80s thing going on with the torn jeans and the bandanas tied around his legs. And... His weapon is just so dreadnoughtish; it's insane. Oh, now it's getting hard. Wow. Okay, number two. Wow, it 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 is really getting hard. Alley Vipers, number two, and I mean this is very, very close. He, I had to drop him down from number one, um, not because of the uniform, not because of the accessories. I mean his shield is just it's bang on. It is great. It's the fact that his visor is so frail. And it obscures his vision. So that's what brings him down to number two. And there is a tie for number one. The Viper and the Bat. These guys are awesome. I mean, the Bat has interchangeable accessories. He has a lenticular sticker, which if I could remember correctly, was the first figure that a lenticular sticker was used on. It gives him that, that futuristic robotic feel. The color scheme, everything is great about this figure. And the Viper, my gosh, I know the file card reads that he's even lower than the blue shirts, but his uniform... His weapon, it puts him, in my opinion, above the blue shirts. I, I think the blue shirts are the bottom of the line. These guys are commandos. They are great. The helmet is so cobra. It, it just, it screams cobra. 
modeled after Cobra Commander's helmet. So, that is my top 10 list for the Cobra figures. Stay tuned for the top 10 list of G.I. Joe. I will eventually do a top 10 list of vehicles and modern figures. So thank you to everybody who is watching. Thank you especially to my subscribers. I cannot do this channel without you. You are the heart and soul of my channel. So please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Let's get the numbers building up on this channel uh, so I could start doing some giveaways. I have great prizes to be given away. So stay tuned for that. And this has been Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. Have a great day. Bye-bye.